wheels with him as he went around. He pulled down on him right there, Tom. Well, I don't know if he, that he had to. So Lynn St. James gets the wall. She comes up against the wall as Kinzer loses. They just he scare just, him? He just simply lost it right there. So, more yellow again at Indianapolis. They just went in there side by side in the lower car. And they just they, 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 Billy pushed him down right into the grass too far there. Bob, That's her. if you go back farther though, you'll see that Billy got passed by one car and I think he just didn't see that there was two cars coming through. Yeah, actually what you have. You can't tell, that's Jack no. Miller up into the wall. I'm not sure what got him there. Cars into the wall and uh, that happened just coming off the parade. Well, I don't know if we're gonna be able to see anything here. Well, oh, it looks like well, the two cars got together, turned Breck sideways. I still can't tell. Heavy traffic, three, four cars side by side. Oh, yeah, down on the inside, they get sideways. The two guys trying to go on their outside. And then the last guy in, I don't, he had to run over debris or got down on the grass. And the car didn't turn at all. He went real close to 90 degrees in. Yellow cars backed in early. It's really hard to tell how they got started, but look at that. Come in late. And that is Sam Schmidt, the yellow car. Primeiro dia, o rookie Jack Hewitt experimenta o muro da curva 4 e com o carro em chamas escorrega até a reta. O veterano Daniel Gais bateu e talvez até pela idade tenha perdido a grama e aí não teve escape. Curva 4, a fatídica. Jim Kite tanto ousou que acabou errando. A traseira foi lançada e a batida inevitável, com direito a pneu rolando até o final da reta dos boxes. Outro acidente à vista, só que desta vez o piloto não teve culpa alguma. Billy Bolt vem sem sequer chegar próximo do limite. Faz a primeira perna da curva sem problemas. Mas aí o carro vai reto, na direção do muro. Houve falha no sistema de direção e muito trabalho para a equipe. E demais. Final de semana de classificação. Fato histórico. Quatro acidentes. O primeiro com o jovem Jimmy Kite. Ele vai para a parte alta e suja do circuito. O carro. O veterano Eliseu Salazar viveu este ano aqui em Indianápolis o seu inferno astral. Além de ficar fora do grid, ainda cometeu este erro na entrada da curva 4 e comprometeu o seu chassi Riley Scott. Destruído no muro de proteção. A curva 2 foi a algoz de Thais Carlson. A falha aconteceu exatamente na barra de direção e fez com que o seu carro fosse reto, também de encontro ao muro. E para completar, tristeza de Scott Arrington. O motor não suporta a pressão. Estoura e com o vazamento de óleo sobre as rodas, a perda completa do In the AJ Foyt car. Car damaged, rookie in trouble, Dave Steele. Just got the car sideways, looks wow, like. The back end stepped out on him a little bit. He's in some traffic, but boy, oh. again, the car just pushed. He was, wasn't even close to the groove. Uh, well, again, he just got oh, out of the groove. He just pushed. He got it up in the grace. Open to Lynn St. James. Oh, they were three wide going into the corner. Well, it looks like uh, Lynn St. Is right behind him, and DeVaron did a nice job of getting on the brakes and not getting collected by Robbie. 
Well, he certainly did. He was hard on the binders, too. Right there, you can see the contact. What caused this crash was the rain. Maybe it's starting to get... Well, oh, maybe, I don't think so. <laughs> he came up on a slow... Let's see what happened. On board with her. Once again, she's on the white line. Cold tires, and when she got up there, she collected that other car. It's Scott Goodyear, that car that we saw up against the wall. So his grill to go in 50 powered car is history. And there it is. She just takes Scott. Ooh, and that Sarah got a little bit airborne there as she hit the outside. Let's take another look at it. Yeah, it looks like he's on that white line. He spins down to the inside, then takes off up the racetrack and little Al just right at the last minute tried to dodge him and got into the fence pretty hard. So he's gonna be done. See them coming through the corner and he just spun the thing. It, cold tires got to him. Look at Gordon, he barely made him. The cold tires, he got down on that white line with cold tires and wiggle be able to stop under the yellow. You can see right there, just he just did a spin. Look at the cars Whoa. behind him. What a great job those guys did. They he was going low, he was Whoa. going high. <laughs> Man. Virginian boat racing. There was one incident just about an hour ago. Roddy McGee smacked one of those new energy absorbing. But let's look at the accident here. Break Ray to the middle of the turn. As we can see, hitting the outside wall into that safe running. Watch the impact there. What a crunch that is, and I can tell you from as a Laurent Radon crash. There's the crash, and now Paul Tracy later pulls out the pack. <laughs> see it really looks dramatic but the one good thing when you see the car impact that that's a styrofoam barrier here we are with a camera right on the edge of that attenuator now in turn three. Sarah Fisher went into turn three and spun, got it. ...by Jacques Lazier as he gets on the brakes and it simply spins the car sideways and it looks like he has made contact. Rick, the outside of the outer wall in turn number two, his car has come to a rest, heading down the back stretch. Delphi Futaba machine has second thoughts. Sharp lost it right as he turned into turn one. Make the move around Wellman, couldn't get it done. Whoa. Now Wellman spins and hits the wall with a short shoot. Car gets upside down, rolls end over end. Listen. Yeah. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Turn three. Six is the leader. Six is the leader. Six is the leader. Fifth are closed. And there's a car against the wall. Larry Point in car number 41. Trouble and the yellow. Car number five left. We have got Mark Taylor into the wall, along with one of the Cheever racing cars, Scott Sharp and several other... The 98 car of P.J. Jones. And we got a problem. A problem on pit road. Three cars are together. Sam Hornish Jr. is one of them. It looks like one of the target cars is a problem in turn four. And it's rookie Marty Roth. <laughs> Since in World Motorsport, the Indianapolis 500 has taken off in early practice. Two-time Indy Racing League champion Sam Hornish Jr. getting airborne after hitting debris from rookie. ...to defend his title at Indy because of this hard crash. Coming around, headed into... Oh, and there he goes. Hits the wall, goes up on his side, comes back down. ...and several drivers who go to the end. We got a problem in turn two. Let's go to Adam Alexander. A spin coming through turn number two. To ...slows on lap 114 for contact between Richie Hearn... Baker side by side in one. And they all both touch Mike in the apex. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Sebastian Borde slams the wall hard into turn number three. <laughs> Junior in the wall. 
Car 61, Ari. I had gotten it all the way kind of back straight, released the brake, and uh, it just took. 2004 Indy winner Buddy Rice tests the safer barrier on. Yellow flag, not a problem done at turn two, and it involves the pole sitter. Sam Hornish Edge, if he wants to make the race. And a yellow, and a yellow. Jeff Buckton, one of the cars involved. Another one got a piece of the action as well. We've got a crash. We've got a crash here. It's Thomas Schechter. He is spinning, and he hits the entrance to the pits. Dixon leads lap 110. We've got a... <laughs> Watch the replay. Oh, she, she lost, lost it. very early in the corner. Wow. I'm not sure what happened there, but she was way, way low going into that corner. Patrick is in third. Well, the same thing. He got out of the way. And once you get up there, get those marbles on there. That car just absolutely. And there is Danica. Oh, oh, is coming in. is in the pits. Or is that John Andretti? Four season, and it's only uh, 2%. Oh. Oh, Saw that car pushing. It's simply. Big hit. Did, did. And you can just start to see the car on the inside moves up just a little bit too much. The spotter should have been telling him there's a car on your floor and making room for the cars from behind. And as soon as you get off that black area, which is we're looking on, they both look just a little bit high. And I'm not sure that there's any problem there with the exception, Eddie, that he's just off of line and just a little. He's fine. He is fine. Let's go on board. Just listen in. to get around the outside of them and they just both touch oh that's a huge hit eddie yeah, no that's terrible in fact it, it, this is what happens at the end of the race i have never seen a car like vito miras do that and he is incredibly lucky that it's not the other way and right now he is growing along looking insane for so many drivers and he gets up into the gray and he just going in front of Justin Wilson takes the air off the car by the looks of it and the car just releases from underneath him and Eddie what usually happens in that scenario Straight. Car on the wall, it's one of the Penske cars. It is Ryan Briscoe. He had just completed his pit. Just hit the wall. Oh. John Andretti just hit the wall. Yellow flag, yellow flag. Tony Kanan. Spun contact with the safer barriers. Of course, yellow. Turn one. Backed right into it and then slapped the wall. Just like that in the opening eight laps of the Indianapolis 500, we have our second caution. So we've, we've got, got a, a yellow oh, It's Rafa Matos, the driver that had just had the problem on pit lane. What has not been a good day for Andretti Autosport gets a little bit worse. This kid's been fast, and just as we say it, he loses at the back. 
Ricky Hamilton in the infield grass at the midway point of the back straightaway. We haven't completed the lap yet here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. But you can see Mike moving inside the car. He's going on the inside of Ryan Hunter Ray. This reminds me almost of Dan Weldon's crash here in turn three and four quite a few years ago. And the car is up into the fence, which is almost reminiscent of Kenny Brack's accident at Texas quite a few years ago, guys. Very, very lucky. You know, he was incredibly lucky that he did not go head into that fence. That is a horrible impact. Wow. Just, just past the apex. Yeah, it, it almost looked. Briscoe, we saw a year ago. He told me that the trickiest thing in coming out of a caution is to wonder how long it. And we have a yellow. A car into the wall. Here's a replay up in the marbles and spanked it right there. He's so we are under caution for our second time in seven laps. Plus 500. He's got to get around the lap. Traffic. What a big year. No! He hit the wall. Oh, Just like my Tony goodness. Schenker. Keep Just your like foot Schenker. on the gas. Market. Dan Weldon is going to win the race. Yeah, it did. All by himself. Now, he did have his left front Ooh. under the white line. Ed Carpenter tried after being bumped out to see if he could right there yep. back it yeah. up I don't know if it's a patch or a bump or whatever but as soon as he got on that patch that's when the car just slid a little bit heavy impact on this left side well, that him said Texas and uh, he was the fueler oh trouble on the track guys a huge crap well you can see it's all wrong by the time he's got Oof. to the center of the turn did hit the safer barrier Sato taking a peek inside 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 keep going keep going keep going buddy yellow yellow <laughs> Oh boy, did he catch that for as little damage as he has, as Eddie said. Sidewall, so all the debris is way down on the inside in the grass, actually. Oh. And uh, so they shouldn't have a lot to clean up, but unfortunately, Graham was having a decent race, but. Uh... And the track's gone. Jamie. Whoa, a leg wiggle there, look out, spin, going into the wall. I got a good run in the short shoot, but I got too close. Back stretch they go. Oh, crash, crash. Turn two, we're gonna correct Charlie Kimball. He slid to a rest right in front of the Hilvantro safety crew. See what we can see. And he's already turned there. Jack Hawksworth, rookie for Brian Herta Autos. Hinchcliffe had contact with Carpenter. All behind you here and they try to pick all the debris it's impossible to get it all it takes so very little to cut a tire well the debris i think possibly that they talked about might have been ahead of so tricky you just it's always a guess as to how much you can take out and then <laughs> Obviously, everybody's in race stream. Everybody's running together. So, uh, you know, um, finally we got some uh, some track time. I just uh, obviously went all of a sudden backwards. I, I I felt the car start taking off, and that's where I'm like, oh snap, this is gonna hurt. I closed my eyes at that point because I didn't know what's gonna happen. And and when I opened, I was actually not quite understanding because I not even felt an impact on the on the landing. And Roger was in the radar. Are you okay? And I was like. 
surprisingly, yes, I'm okay. But. down in fifth gear and I thought that was checked up enough but I caught them very quickly and then I thought I'd held it I thought I'd held it I thought I'd held it and into that gray section you lose all grip there there's no black there's no rubber and then he just loses grip goes up and to is leaving his pit stall and all three all three of the Dale coin racing out of four oh. trouble oh. hard crash first car so in line Coletti So great racing up front, but off. Yeah, just that little bit of a wiggle. Eddie, you know what that's like. The car was tries to survey. He comes down, clips the nose of him. Remember, we had something like that last year with James Hinchcliffe and Carpenter. Oh, a crash. Blind for probably a second or two. 18 and Connor Daly and sees it all happen in front of see what happens. Crew's doing a magnificent job. So she got loose, clipped the back of the car off. Of, if we could get an earlier view of that, you know, you'll oh, feel we it. Got the a spin oh, right there. That's, oh, that's Chilton. Chilton. Yeah, Max Chilton. Chilton lost it in Davey. That is say, close. Yeah. Carum is in trouble. Hard crash. <laughs> there, Mike. He it, didn't stand a chance. Trouble. So Takuma saw. Oh, we have a car in trouble. Car in.